Welcome back at Border Paws Animal Shelter for another edition of Pet Project and we are back in the cat room, the open cat room and today we have a bonded pair of brothers named Steve and um, Bernie, Bernie. Uh, and this one here is Steve, the light colored hair uh, one and then Bernie is on an adventure somewhere in this room uh, and he's a little bit of a darker shade of orange so tell me a little bit about how they came to the shelter and you know the process of them being a bonded pair so these guys were brought in they're actually brothers um, so we would like to adopt them out together <laughs> and uh, we have noticed that they prefer to be in a home without dogs. They really like other cats um, and they're happy together. They're pretty laid back. They like mm -hmm. to just lounge. They love attention, um, but they're not really um, needy cats. Yep. They're more like they like attention on their own terms. Mm -hmm. So they're a nice chill couple of cats if that's what you're looking for, but still very friendly. Yes, for sure. You know, just seeing them interact with the other cats. Mm -hmm. They seem to like it, except when Steve is chilling. <laughs> no other cats can come yes. up here. But uh, no, they seem very, very friendly, and they mm -hmm. do seem to get along really well with the other cats in here, which is really nice to see. And, you know, just being in a cat home is is perfectly okay, yeah. too, um, and especially if they're good with kids. So you'd recommend that really any age range of kids... Yeah, uh, they seem to be calm enough that they would enjoy a home with kids um, not as playful as a kitten but honestly sometimes that's nice yeah. I prefer the older cats so that they're a little more laid back and not getting into everything <laughs> um, but really nice cats as you can see he's just hanging out he left and came back even went for a little stroll and came back to his spot so <laughs> Now, uh, this isn't the first time that we've had bonded pairs mm -hmm. on Pet Project. Tell me a little bit about how that process works if somebody yeah. is interested in the two of them. So if you wanted to adopt them, we really try to send them out together. Um, we want them to go to the same home just because they have been together their whole lives. So we're trying to keep that um, so that they don't have to be separated and stressed if we were to put them in different homes. Um, and they would adjust a lot better. And we sometimes have that with dogs as well, where it's like we notice that they get along well and they're really comfortable together. So we try to send them out um, to the same adopter. Now, uh, tomorrow night is a community night and you guys mm -hmm. are gonna be there looking for volunteers. Tell yeah. me a little bit about that and how uh, people can get involved. Yeah, so we are gonna have a uh, booth set up and we're gonna be explaining how it works to volunteer with us. Um, if you wanna come cuddle cats and if someone's interested in dog walking, um, we also have the Dog Stay Out program where you can um, come pick out a dog, take it for the afternoon, take it for a walk at Bud Miller, take it to buy some treats and bring it back so that they get a little break from the shelter environment, which is awesome. Um, so our staff will be sitting at the Service Sports Center with a booth and just kind of ha handing out information on um, our volunteer programs. And hopefully that helps uh, garner some volunteers yes. as well, because that would be really, really great for you guys. Mm -hmm. Last week, we got a fir our first look preview at yes. the back uh, space, because the concrete was laid and the uh, kennels were set up. But now mm -hmm. there's even more progress that's yes. been made, and you guys are almost ready to start the full yeah. completion of it. So tell me a little bit about that process. We're really excited. So we have the concrete from last week. We have the kennels. Um, Tam and Jay's contracting actually came and put toppers on for us. So now all the kennels have tops so we don't have to worry about dogs climbing out or anything like that. Um, and then today we had Raptors at Picker and Hotshot Services and they came and moved our sea cans for us and our shed. So now it's beautiful back there it's all cleared out it's just kennels it's clean and now uh, Tam and Jay's is hoping to start on the grass in the next little while putting sod down and getting ready for our actual play area in the next week or so so we're really excited for that yes that is very exciting mm -hmm. especially since you know we're getting into colder weather so yes. it'd be nice to have that completed before exactly. unfortunately snow starts mm -hmm. to fall um, and they were super super quick and they did a great job yeah. with the concrete area so I can imagine that this won't take any time at all which is yeah. super exciting because that was just I think like the final piece mm -hmm. to this building that was missing so it's yes. very exciting yeah we're um, pretty pumped for it <laughs> now since we're into September 
uh, your walk for pause is coming up in a few weeks uh, and you will have already received some sponsors. Yeah. Tell me a little bit about how that's all coming together and how people can get involved if they want to help out as well. Yeah, so we've sent out some letters for sponsorship. If anyone's interested, you can contact us and we'll send out um, information to you. But we currently have a gold sponsor, which is the Lloyd Animal Hospital. So we're so grateful for that. We also have a silver sponsor, which was Classic Oil Field, and they're sponsoring like the cost of our barbecue. Mm -hmm. um, and then we're also taking bronze sponsorships if anyone is interested. And on top of that, if you just want to come out and enjoy a day with your dogs, with the whole family, um, you can collect pledges and then you would submit those the day of the walk. And for any pledge over $20, if you need a charity tax receipt, we can do that. You just fill out the forms. Um, and then we're going to have prizes and things for all the participants on site that day and lots of like dog demonstrations and things. So it's going to be a really fun day and nice to be able to include the dogs and the whole family and be able to be outdoors yes for sure and it's very exciting that this is all starting to come yeah. together We've talked about it a couple times when it was first announced so mm -hmm. it's now fully coming together which is very exciting yeah, exactly. to see uh, now finally same question every week is there any donations that you're in need of uh, yeah. for the shelter we would actually love some long lines so when we're playing with the dogs it's nice if we can have like a long rope with a clasp on the end um, to secure the dogs so that they can play frisbee with us just until the backyard is fenced fully um, so it would be really nice to have that now that we have space out there to be doing that and playing with them um, slip leads are also nice to have and even like some leash or collar donations so those are kind of the things we're leaning more towards this week Awesome. Well, thank you so much for joining me again. Yes, and hopefully uh, Steve and Bernie find their forever yeah. home together and so that they aren't separated. Mm -hmm.